everyone, I'm Natalie Forte. And I'm Justin Walter. And welcome to another fun episode of Get, Get Out. Out! Oh, it is such a beautiful day here. So mild and just perfect. It is perfect. And looking at the beach, I'm a little nostalgic of the days I used to live in Australia. <gasps> you lived there? I did and I loved it. But coming to Santa Monica and being here at the beach reminds me a lot of it. I hear that a lot from different yeah. Aussies. They're like LA and, and Australia, kind of similar. Very similar. Well, you know what? Because I do love you so much, okay. um, I have a little surprise for you that may take you back to your Aussie days. A ticket to Australia? Mm, close. Do you want a taste of Australia without leaving Santa Monica? Well, right here on Main Street is Aussie Pie Kitchen, and I hear they have some of the most unique and delicious foods around, so let's check it out. I'm with my mate, Nick Bishop, who is the owner of Aussie Pie Kitchen, so thank you for having me thank here. Thank you. Great to see you, Justin. Now, I lived in Australia for a couple months, but I was not familiar with Aussie Pies. What is an Aussie Pie? So we've eaten Aussie Pies for centuries. That's what we Aussies do. That's what the English do. That's what the Kiwis, the South Africans, we all love pies. Like a chicken pot pie, but with different flavors. We've got beef, we've got chicken, we've got lamb, we've got vegetarian, we have wow. great options. We make our pies over a three-day period. Three, three days. Three days. Oh. Our pies are made with a lot of love, a lot of time, and a lot of effort. We choose the best ingredients we possibly can, and we make these pies Great. every day for all our so customers. So in Santa Monica, we're getting the best of Australia, but a little more gourmet. Yeah, absolutely more gay, up to a different level. Now, beyond pies, you guys have coffee. Yeah. I, I hear yeah. that the coffee is amazing here. Our coffee is from Australia. It's called Vittoria. Victoria is a 68-year-old coffee company, third generation, Italian espresso roots, the most delicious coffee ever. So unique to bring that slice of Australia right here to Santa Monica. Everyone loves Australia. I love Australia. So I'm excited to actually make some pies. Can we do that? Sure. Let's go and see Joe and see All what right. we got. Chef Joe, I've heard so many good things about these pies, so can yes, you sir. put me to work to start making them? Yeah, absolutely. Let me tell you a little bit of how we got to this yes. stage. Uh, we take all our pie fillings, like our chicken tarragon and our steak shiraz, and we marinate them overnight for the okay. first day with tons of wine and aromatic vegetables and fresh herbs. Yes. Second day, we braise them slowly till they're just cooked through and Ugh. tender. We let it rest overnight so all those juices we distribute and come back into the meat. And then on day three, we're here. We are here at day yep, three. Day I can three. smell it. It smells so good. Excellent. So what do we do on day three? Put me to work. I'm ready so, to help you yeah, guys Yeah, absolutely. Out here. All right. Yeah, here just carefully. Yep. So we have Put our convection over in. here. Yep, just slide it right in. All right. Perfect. So delicious. The smell in here is amazing. I can't wait Excellent. to start trying this food. Awesome. Man. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's definitely my pleasure. These look so good. I got to start with the steak and fries that you I cooked back there. You will love it, Justin. And you know, we also do catering. It doesn't matter whether you want breakfast, whether you want pies delivered to your office, whether you want to do our mini pies for your cocktail party, mm. or even our late night floaters for the drinkers later. Oh my night. gosh, this is delicious. I'm glad you love it. You can tell that it's been marinated over three days and oh, it is so good. So I know I'm gonna definitely come back. Okay. So if anybody wants to come here, we're gonna find out more. Okay, 2510 Main oh. Street in Santa Monica, right off Ocean Park. And of course, you can always look at us online at www.aussiepiekitchen.com. This is so good. It brings me right back to Australia, right? There you go. <laughs> Well, thank you for letting me relive my days down under and enjoying some delicious Australian food. You are so welcome. I figured, you know, you do deserve a food segment every now and then. Even though you're pregnant, you still let me eat. So uh, thank you, Natalie. You're but welcome. What are you up to? I'm a giver. What can I say? <laughs> well, I've kind of been in this nesting mood, like my maternal instincts are kicking okay. in. And I think I'm going to go get a little crafty. I've done sewing, I've done knitting, but I've never tried needlepoint and I've always wanted to. And Aristea Needlepoint on 26 in San Vicente is the perfect place to learn. Let's go! with Virginia, the manager of Aristea Needlepoint. How are you doing? I'm good, Natalie. How are you? Wonderful. Okay, I have to say, number one, I'm not the craftiest person on the planet. That's okay. And two, I have never done Needlepoint. I don't know how good I'm going to be. 
you think okay. I can still learn something here? Absolutely. We okay. usually start about eight years old. Really? Yes. Okay, so it's not just... If an eight-year-old can do it, you can do it. Well, we shall see about <laughs> that in a little bit when I actually learn. But um, what do you guys offer here? I know you do a bunch of different things. We have classes every day, okay. Monday through Friday. And you can basically come in, you pick out a needlepoint off our wall, or order something in a book. Okay. And we teach you how to do it. All right, well, I'm ready to get started. I'm anxious to learn, so let's go pick out my canvas. Great. So, Natalie, this is a really good place to start with. Okay. We have all kinds of canvases. We, there's 18 mesh and 13 mesh. And that means the holes? The whole size, 13 being the larger hole. And this is probably what you want to start with. <gasps> okay, green and yellow are my absolute favorite colors. And it's on 13 mesh. And That's look, perfect. and it is 13. Okay, I can handle this one. Okay. I'm going to start in the corner. Okay. And I'm going to stitch towards my knot. Okay. And when I get close to it, I'm going to snip it off. Okay. So you're just kind of moving over, but it, there's a little diagonal. You're almost. on a diagonal. Okay. And now it's your turn, Natalie. Oh, jeez. Okay, let me see. Now, do you hold it? Let's see. You should like actually this way? hold it like this. I should, like this. Yeah. Once I'm done, mm -hmm. what happens to it next? Like, what do I do with it? You bring it back in here. Okay. And we pick out a really cute fabric for the back, and we send it off to our finisher, and we turn it into a little door hanger. So it could be a little door hanger, uh -huh. cute, for this particular thing, but then uh -huh. you do stockings and pillows, pillows. and framing, and anything that you can possibly think of. The options are endless. Options are endless. Okay, this is great, and I can yeah. just take this home. I take the yarn, take mm -hmm. it home, and then bring it back when I'm done. That's right. And then I'll have something You can come baby. in any time for help. Oh, yeah, because that, that will definitely happen. <laughs> Thank you so much, Virginia. I'm going to keep working, but I know if people want to come down here, what is your address and your website? Our address is 226th Street, okay. Santa Monica. Website is aristeaneelpoint.com. Easy. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really You're enjoyed welcome. this. I'm not kidding. I'm just, Good. I will get better, I promise. <laughs> well, that looks like it's going to turn out well for baby Justin or Justina. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. I'm not the most crafty person, but hopefully the baby will yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. I think he or she will. Okay, good. Now, what are you up to next? Well, watching you inspired me to kind of explore some of the more cultural and arts parts of Santa Monica. Okay. So I'm going to go check out a really unique center. Right off of Lincoln and Wilshire is Reed Park. Now, what many people might not know is right in the middle is the Miles Memorial Playhouse. Now, I hear they have a wide variety of performances, and I can't wait to hear more about it. I'm here right now with Justin Yoff, who is the Cultural Affairs Supervisor for the City of Santa Monica. So thank you for joining me today. My pleasure. Now we are sitting outside the Miles Memorial Playhouse. So can you tell me a little bit about the building uh, that we're sitting outside of? Yeah, Miles is a historical landmark for the city of Santa Monica. It was completed in 1929. It was done in the Spanish Revival style and it was created for the young men and women of the city and it was created, as you're about to see it, as a theater. So nowadays when people come to see performances inside, what, what kind of things do they see? What are the performances you guys have? We have a really eclectic mix. We do everything from, we do a lot of dance. We do a lot of music, uh, like I said, musical events. We do traditional theater. We do a lot of Shakespeare. We do kids events. Um, we do our own events like Fireside at the Miles. How often are shows going? We do 48 out of 52 weeks a year that oh, we wow. program. Yeah, it's a very active space. The, from the outside, the building looks beautiful. Thank I you. can only imagine what it looks on the inside. You want to check it out? Yeah, I do. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Here's the fireplace we were telling you about. Oh, neat. So you guys change the whole theater around and do programs based around this fireplace. Yes, every January and February, we'll take these risers, we'll move them around, we bring in couches and coffee tables, we light candles, we have an organic coffee and tea bar in the back, and we light this fire and we do stuff right here in front of it, everything from, from music, uh, the LA Flute Orchestra, to dance, um, to so comedy, amazing. it's really a fun time. And the feel, just looking above into the ceiling with the, the wood, and like you said, the beams and the chandelier, I don't even feel like I'm kind of in the 
the architecture of Los Angeles from buildings that I, I've been in in the past. Hey, and when you come to theater, it's to remove you from your daily life, I know, and transport I love it. you. So yeah, it's really great, and it changes its quality for each show. When I first got hired, I'm like, boy, everything's going to be quaint and old-fashioned, <laughs> but it's not the case at all. It really changes its character with each show. And one thing I think that's interesting is the the Miles Memorial Playhouse. You were talking about it's city-owned, correct? correct. It's the only city-owned playhouse in Santa Monica. Other than the Santa Monica Civic Auditorium, which mm -hmm. right now is being studied on what the future of that will hold, um, this is the only performing stage that the city does own. You know, That's so. great. So if someone wants to find out more information about the Miles Memorial Playhouse, where can they find it? They can email me. Um, they can email milesplayhouse at smgov.net. They can give me a call. They can go to the Miles Playhouse website, which is milesplayhouse.org, and all my contact information and our schedule is there. Yeah. And I love hearing from people, so nice. So I like getting a tour of it when it's kind of just tranquil and peaceful and quiet and just enjoying the playhouse itself. But I definitely am going to come back for some performances. I hope you do. I will. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, they're really doing a lot of great things there. I got to check it are, out. They are, and I'm so excited to go back and check out some of those performances. You have to come with. I would love to. Great. So what are you up to next, Natalie? Well, you know, you always do the workout segments, mm -hmm. but it's my turn. I ah. need to, you know, do something physical, get my heart rate up, and so I'm going to check out this really unique gym. Believe it or not, I actually do love working out almost as much as I love eating, but I keep hearing about 34 degrees north. They're an extremely unique gym here in Santa Monica, and they offer a lot more than your average fitness gym. Let's check it out. I'm here with Tanner, the owner and head coach of 34 Degrees North. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? Wonderful. Thank you for having us. I um, usually am always eating, so I definitely need to work out. Okay, so cool. So this will be awesome. <laughs> so, okay, first of all, I need to know, what does 34 Degrees North mean? So 34 Degrees North is the latitude coordinates of the gym, and uh, for us, that's kind of a signal and, and a meaning to people that, uh, you know, fitness is a journey and, and uh, and an aspiration, not a fixed point or a destination. And so we really want to kind of, you know, begin from the, you know, or, or start that way in the beginning where we're setting that tone that, you know, this is just, you know, many steps that we'll be taking together uh, yeah. toward a lifelong journey, hopefully. Oh, I love that. Wonderful. Now, there are a lot of gyms, you know, in Southern California. What makes you guys stand out? Oh, um, what makes us stand out? I think the, the way, the, the context through, through which we teach movement and the fact that this really is a holistic experience. Um, and you know, that's kind of a word that I think gets thrown around a lot and it's kind of lost some meaning, but you know, when people come here, obviously there's gonna be the movement training and the fitness and, and that aspect of it, the exercise, but we also wanna teach people about uh, their nutrition. Uh, we also wanna bring people together in community. And, and uh, you know, that's, that's I think what makes us different is just that, you know, we have all the weights and uh, all those things, but that ultimately this is, you know, a lifestyle and everything else wraps around that. Oh, wow, you guys are thorough. You're on it. <laughs> I love that. Now, I'm going to get a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm very sure. lucky. And, you know, I'm pregnant, I told you. So cool, so no mercy then, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, please. Cool. Okay, how so do we... So let's begin. We're just going to do a little dynamic warm-up. Start taking a step. God, you're your way knee more up. flexible than me. Three, perfect. You know yeah, everything moves in a cross pattern in the body when you run, when you walk. If I say right, catch it with your right hand only. If I say left, catch it with your left hand only. Well, you didn't say anything right there, right? I didn't say anything right. Ah, right? Left. Left. Nice, good catch. Yay! <laughs> there you go, let's go. Hand over hand, hand over hand, let's go. Woo! Keep pulling. Okay, I'm pulling. You got it. Keep coming. Okay, I feel it in my calves everywhere, actually. Keep coming. Great job. Thank you. Great that job, one was Natalie. Better. All right. There you go. Yeah. Last one. Boom, there you go. Yeah, who's your mama now? <laughs> Woo, that was so fun. Um, if people want more information, where can they go? Go to www.34-north.com. Okay, your address real quick. 2621 Pico Boulevard, Unit F. We're a little off the beaten path behind Car Nerds. Thanks, Tanner. Thank you. Thank you for coming All right. by. Yeah, should we? Where's that massage therapist you mentioned? Um, I could, I could use a little right here. All right, cool. I can do a little bit yeah, of work. Yeah, thank you. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, mommy like. You really holding your own out there. Well, you know, I'm still fit. 
it's good for the baby. It's good for me. Yes, it is. And you would love that place. You it have to. Looks you have like to go. a great gym. I'm definitely going to check it out. And before we go, if you haven't already, download Santa Monica's Park Me app. It gives you all the latest information on open parking spaces throughout the city. It's awesome. Yeah, it is. It's great. I use it all the time. All right, guys. Unfortunately, we are out of time. But thank you so much for watching another fun episode of Get, get out. out. All right, get out, Justin. No. Oh, you're so strong. Yeah.